down to Monday solar eclipse, we wanted to get an inside look at what we might see and feel while it happens. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff caught up with a NASA scientist to talk about the unique experience. Who most excited about for this eclipse? For me, so I, I've had the opportunity to see the 2017 total solar eclipse that crossed through the U.S. And then back in October, I got to see the annular eclipse. And what I've learned from those is that each eclipse, the experience is very different. So to really compare how each eclipse feels, both who I'm surrounded by, but also where I am, uh, I'm really excited to see how this upcoming total eclipse compares to those previous experiences that I've had. So I've never been able to experience a total solar eclipse. I'm actually traveling to Dallas for this. Oh, great. Crossing my fingers that I get some clear sky. Yeah, for Texas weather. <laughs> yeah, let's cross our fingers. But I've heard that it's almost like a life-changing, almost spiritual experience. Is that kind of what you felt on either of the previous ones you visited? That's that's right. I mean, it's really hard to describe the feeling that you get when you're witnessing this. Um, it does kind of feel like an out of body experience and something that isn't actually reality and happening. Um, in fact, when the the annular eclipse took place in October, I was part of the NASA broadcast and my co-host and I, as we were watching, we both got a little emotional um, unexpectedly during our broadcast because it is just something that, you know, you don't get to experience all the time and it feels like a special event. Wow, that just builds mm. the anticipation. You can see why ancient people were pretty scared. Right, right. The gods must Turn be angry. Right. Oh. <laughs> well, for more information on this eclipse, including the best places to see it in New Hampshire and Vermont, just go to our website, WBZ.com. And we will have live coverage of the eclipse with viewers from across the country Monday, starting at 2 o'clock on WBZ and CBS News Boston.